Eduardo Pelosi is considered one of the founders of pop art and one of Scotland's most innovative artists of the 20th century. Vanessa Cudderford went to take a look at five decades of his work at London's Whitechapel Gallery. Irreverent and innovative, Eduardo Paolozzi's collages, sculptures and prints challenged artistic convention through the second half of the 20th century. This retrospective traces the work of this pioneer pop artist over five decades, from his first solo exhibition in 1947 at the age of 22 to the monumental public works of the 90s. It was the 1950s when Paolozzi really burst onto the scene at the Venice Biennale. His work was a break with the past. His sculptures were jagged, rough and spiky, a reflection of post-war anxieties. At the time, were seen in the light of the uh, Second World War and in the light of uh, the horrors of Hiroshima, that a lot of his uh, sculptures uh, were described as having survived some form of nuclear holocaust. At the same time, they were also perceived as being quite hopeful as being um, resurgent from the ashes. He continued to push boundaries in the 1960s with his graphic work. This series is one of his most famous, a set of 12 screen prints. At the time, screen printing wasn't a method generally used in fine art, but Paolozzi changed that. Other artists followed his lead, and screen printing became a favourite medium for pop art. Paolozzi also challenged dogma with his choice of materials. He used aluminium for his sculptures when few others did. By now, Paolozzi was very well known, but that commercial success meant he actually fell out of love with the genre he helped create. In 1971, he had an exhibition at the Tate where he actually spoofed pop art. I think um, in the late 1970s, for Paolozzi, pop had run its course, uh, where it was Previously, um, quite a radical thing to deal with sources that came from popular culture and popular entertainment. By the 1970s, this had become um, a common course. It has become a, a common thing to do. And Paolozzi was anything but, but uh, interested in doing the common thing. The 90s saw Paolozzi become more interested in the process of creating art rather than the end product. He made sculptures, recast them, broke them up, then reconstituted them. Some he signed, some he didn't. He blurred the lines between original works and copies. The breadth of Paolozzi's work meant he influenced many of his contemporaries. Nevertheless, this is the first major exhibition for more than 40 years. The Whitechapel Gallery hopes it'll bring Paolozzi to the attention of a whole new generation. Vanessa Cuddiford, TRT World, London.